difficult is it for you in um, terms of language and communicating what you want them to do? Okay, I think language is very difficult. Uh, uh, no, language is very important in our class because you know my English is not very good, and some words is not uh, is not good for the action. Um, what, how does dancing make you feel? Does it, is it a form of exercise for you? Is it for you to relax? Yeah. Does it make you happy? Happy, yeah. yeah. Couple of viewers, there you have it. We just had um, a talk with Jessie, a dance teacher. She's very uh, passionate about the, the art of dancing. Uh, basically, our experience in CUC so far has been as foreigners. The the university the university's management is honestly doing so much for us to feel included, for us to feel that we are not out of place by including us in their activities. Like this morning, we were uh, privileged to have a dance class, a traditional Chinese dance class, just to show how the Chinese uh, do their dances, the breathing. The art this of is my mom. Oh, uh, she's a dance professional. Oh, okay. Uh, we've also been um, exposed to um, historical places language as well and the food as well so when you come to cuc you are basically part of the community you don't feel left out they do a lot as their university to make sure that you are comfortable to make sure that you don't feel out of place hence why we have the chinese language just so that you're moving around or your day-to-day -day activities are not stressful and you're not frustrated because of the language barrier but you somehow have the basic knowledge of the language to get you by <laughs> The little global village within Communication University of China will have you see things like students from Ethiopia inviting Chinese students to have a meal with them. The meal's main dish was njera, which is an Ethiopian staple that we shared as students, but mainly uh, to impart culture between Ethiopia and Chinese. It was very delicious. <laughs> as well as Maria that has once visited uh, East Africa, Tanzania to be precise, and she fell in love with the people and the culture, so she took it upon herself to learn the language of Swahili. Swahili is widely spoken in East Africa, in Tanzania, Kenya, Burundi, Uganda, and as well as Rwanda. You will notice that Maria speaks Swahili fluently as a result. She's a professor within CUC that teaches the language of Swahili. Take a look. Yeah. <laughs>